welcome to the Merrill Garner channel. Um, today we're going to be doing some harvesting. Uh, we've got a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers to pick. Uh, we've got some, also some, uh, some peppers. They all seem to be coming out. Um, but about now, this about August is when they really start to, to produce and, and ripen up as far as peppers and uh, green peppers and red peppers and such. So we're going to start with the cucumbers. As you can see, I've got this trellis here and they're all kind of climbed up and grown in there very well. I've got quite a bit of cucumbers to pick. And um, this plant is still pretty good. It's, like it's still producing pretty well. Um, but I did plant another cucumber there and it's uh, to take over when this is done. So let's start picking some cucumbers. Um, this one's a nice one here. I'll pick this one right here. It's a nice little cucumber there. All right. Let's come around this way. Nice cucumbers right here. Well, let's go around. Let's keep looking around and see if we can find some more. Got this one here also. This one's been in there a little too long. It's kind of turned a little bit yellow, so I might as well pull that one out. Bumblebees are still doing their job over here. But we're glad to see that. They're still around working hard out here. It's always good to see. Okay. So we're going to do a um, tomato here. This one right here is ready to go. Pretty good tomato. So we got some more cucumbers around the corner here. So let's go get those real quick. Show you how they're doing. And these are the Boston pickling ones, which I haven't had time to, to pick them. When they're you know when they're ready to go, so they turn really turn yellow really quickly. You really gotta get to these really quick, but I can't use these now. I guess I haven't been able to pick them quick enough to use them. But uh, there's a nice cucumber right here I can pick. Let's do this there. Nice little cucumber there. Yeah, those yellow cucumbers are probably going to go in the composter. And uh, I'll just compost all of those. Let's go grab some tomatoes. Now, these are ready. Now, we just, got a, we just had a storm last night. And uh, it looks like we're going to have some rainy, rainy uh, weather coming week. So... I'm trying to pick these ripening tomatoes up before they start to crack on me. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to pick the ones that are close to getting ripe and the ripe ones because they will crack to get a lot of, a lot of rainfall, a lot of water to them. So I'm going to try and salvage what I have here tomato wise. Looks like this one's getting ready to look like the blossom and rot. Got a lot of rain. It's starting to get soft up. It's starting to soften up and get dark back here. So that's what happens when you get, get a lot of rainfall and get that blossom end right on there. So we might not be able to use some of that. Now let's get over here. I got one over here also. This one this one will ripen up on the shelf very nicely. So we'll save that one go to the other side here. Got a lot of tomatoes here on this one here. So we got this one here is ready to go. It's supposed to rain I believe tonight again so at least I don't have to water the garden. That's a good thing. Not bad. Let those ripen up on the shelf. Come right here. Back here. I'm 
This is the beefsteak tomato. And uh, they've been doing very well this year. I'm gonna have to grow this again, definitely again. Not bad. It did very good this year for me. You don't usually get that big. So I'm gonna bag this one here. I'm gonna get this one, put the insect bag on these and uh, let them ripen up. Just tie it, pinch it, and I've wrap this up like so. And this is gonna grow right in the bag. Take a clip. There you go. And no bugs gonna be able to get in that and, and do some damage. So that's very good there. And I'm gonna do a few of those today. I got a few that are ripening up that I'm gonna do the same. Gonna walk around and see if I can put a bag on, uh, insect bag on what I need to do there. And the ones I need to uh, protect. So let's go do some peppers. Peppers are ready. If you can see these, your peppers are going to start uh, ripening up right about now, August. They all seem to be ripening them up, turning into their nice color, nice little red color. Green peppers are coming up now. So August is the time for, for green peppers, red peppers, and all that. They're all looking really good, so we're going to have to pick a bunch of these. They're ready to go. These are the Italian sweet peppers. And uh, they're good to pick when they're nice and got that nice red color so when they're, they're good to pick them when they're got their color their best red color and got that nice sweet flavor to them this one's a nice one Beautiful. I love that color. My favorite color right there, red. It's one of my favorite colors. So we're gonna go around. We've got another one on the other side. This is the um, pepperoni Marconi Russo, and it's another sweet red pepper. Almost looks like the Italian sweet, but these are the Marconis. That's a nice little red color there. Very nice. I got a couple of green peppers also that uh, we can pick. So we'll take a look at those. Let's see what we got here. That one here is getting ready to turn. Had that nice rain last night. Everything is nice and crisp. Looks real nice. This one here. Another one here. Let's see if we have any more. Look around and see here. This one can wait. I think the other's gonna be a little more time. Let's go around. Let me show you what, so this is what we got so far. Very nice little basket of tomatoes and uh, green, red, red peppers and uh, green peppers. Not bad, we got, we'll probably have some more next week. Um, let's see, okay, I got two Romano tomatoes here, I didn't see. Let's get these here. Romanos. These are the San Marzano. San Marzano peppers. Save those. Right. 
Now these are the uh, the uh, Suzuku cabbage, and uh, they're doing really good, really well. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little bit of uh, snail damage on, on some of them, but they seem to be pulling through. And uh, <clears throat> this one here, I got eaten quite a bit, but it seems to be doing good now. It's kind of grown right back. So I'm going to give it some more of this uh, snail, um, uh, bug getter, snail and slug killer. And so I'm going to pour a little bit more. Now that I have this open, I'm going to pour some throw some around. No, let me see. Uh-uh. Come on. Oh, come here. All right. Stay there. All right. I'm going to cover this up because I don't want the dog to get to this. You've got to be careful when you put these out. I don't know how dog friendly these are. We'll cover them up. And that should uh, give the, skin, the snail something to chew on and hopefully they will keep them away so that's the that's the cabbage these are the Suzuku cabbage I've got a quick start cabbage in this corner here that's doing very well and um, I've also the cabbage is around the corner here and I've, uh, over here also they're doing really good also I got three quick start cabbages here and they all seem to be doing really well. I think they're gonna make it through. I'll put in some more uh, snail uh, snail repellent there as well. And uh, planted some radishes. Here, Lucy. Planted some radishes here, and they're starting to come up. Uh, cherry bell radishes, and uh, that's the spot where my zucchinis were, and I went and replanted those there. Um, I planted lettuces in this bed here, and they're starting to come up as well. Some lettuce. And they're starting to come up. A little small, they're starting to sprout. And I've got my basil here from cuttings that are, that are doing very well, and I planted cilantro behind those. As you can see, the cilantro, planted some cilantro seeds back here. So, hopefully they make it to maturity, and I can, I can have some cilantro and basil there. And over here I got the spinach. And as you can see the spinach is starting to come up. The spinach here. And they're starting to come up right now actually. So, so I'm gonna have some spinach at least uh, for at least going into the fall season and I'll just keep replanting those as long as I can. As long as I can do it. They, they seem to be coming up pretty well. So let's look at our harvest. They're going down. I'm, I'm surprised that. Uh, look at this beautiful colors. And uh, I'm going to keep on uh, working on the garden today. We're going to have another rain, another rainstorm tonight. So uh, thank you for watching, and um, uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll have some more peppers to harvest. Uh, and some some fall preparing for the fall season. And. Um, We'll see you again soon. Thank you for joining us. If you're uh, a new uh, viewer, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and bell button so we can be, you can be notified uh, when we have new videos. And thank you to all my subscribers for watching and everybody that's watching. Appreciate it. Have a great day.